What purpose does, it, does Mr. Owen seek recognition? I'd like to strike the last word. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to support the uh, amendment and oppose the underlying rule, uh, a bill. Um, I just came back from the border last week. So I'm going to speak to the culture. American culture, as I see, is being under attack today. And uh, remind our fellow Americans how great our nation is. We are a nation. Our culture is one of compassion, diversity, and a common pride to be an American. We respect civility. We respect the rule of law. We have a faith that no matter how we worship our God, we want to be blessed by him by treating other people good and right. I can highlight this in three words, order, rule of law, and acceptance. I grew up at a time in this early 60s where 12 years old, I was marching in front of the Florida State Theater because I couldn't go in, in, in school there. I couldn't go to, to that theater. I grew up at a time when a game changer of a movie called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Sidney Poitier, interracial dating, they never touched each other, but that was a game changer. My family today represents the American way. Our six kids, within our six kids, we have the, the color of the rainbow, from black to white, Mexican, American Indian, Trinidadian. It's called progress, is what the American people do. We look at each other from inside out, not outside in. What our culture never was, was a message to women, children, boys and girls, that the entry to America is abuse, sex trafficking. American Way was never indentured servitude, which those who cannot pay the $4,000 to $8,000 come into this country to get a job and must pay off the cartel because if they don't, their family will be tortured or killed. The American Way never was. Cartels profiting half a billion dollars per month, and we do nothing as they use bodies and dreams of the most vulnerable. i tell you what, my friends, if our democratic leadership does not want to do something about it, my democratic leadership is being complicit. We've seen this, this human trafficking before. We dealt with it 200 years ago, and we should deal with it again. It's a stain on our soul to see these poor people, these children, being used and abused the way they are. I spent two days and one night at the border, and it's truly an open border. They touch our land, and within hours, they're in the middle of our, in our nation. Every city will get a chance to understand what the good people in these border cities feel every single night. You see why they do want borders, why they do want protection, why they do want police, because they want safety. They don't want to have to deal with a cartel, drugs, kidnapping, well, my friends across this country know that it's coming to every city because we're flooding our nation with thousands of people every single day. This is what I saw when I was down at the border. <clears throat> Talked to border patrolmen and asked them, do they, do they apprehend these, these smugglers, these evil people? I said, no, because they'll do anything to distract, including throwing a six-month little baby into the river. I saw 19 unaccompanied children when I was there, down, during the time I was there. And the next month, it's going to be 35,000. Not the same kids, by the way, a totally different group. There will be 187,000 unaccompanied children that will, many of them will never see their parents again. They'll be sent to foster homes. They will not be growing up in a family. They will not be learning our, our language, not understanding how great our country is. And I wonder if this is on purpose. This child abuse. We are a country of compassion, of empathy, and I tell you how we do that, it's how we use our time and our money. Where is our president, our vice president, to go to the border and hear the things we're talking about? Do they not care about these kids we're talking about, dropping over 14-foot wall, children in the middle of nowhere, being abandoned? Do they not care? What if it was their kids? What was your kids? Would you guys allow this to happen if they were your kids or grandkids? I say absolutely not. I fight this to every bit of my, my soul to make sure my kids were safe. And yet we sit here and act like they're, they're, they're nobody. We need to stand for these, these children, my friends. I don't care what side of the aisle we're on. Let's be the country that we, we our ancestors, ancestors left for us, one with the compassion 
and love for each other, and I yield back.